No, your eyes and probably your ears are not playing tricks on you. I am indeed quite swollen on this side of my face. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm not in what I would consider significant pain. Here I am doing my job because uh, tech news does not stop for anyone. And we have something pretty interesting to talk about today. Do you guys remember years ago when the Surface Duo was first kind of making the rounds and being talked about? MKBHD did a video looking at that device. This was like before it was, you know, officially released. And in that video, we had this really interesting moment where he's talking with Panos Panay, and Panay is showing him Surface Duo, as you can see here. But then he takes the device, which is closed, into phone mode, and he opens it up, and when he opens it up, for just the briefest of moments, you can see a little camera bump on the back of the device. And on the other side, you can see a little divot where that camera would sort of nest inside, allowing you to still use phone mode. Now, of course, the Surface Duo that would eventually be released did not have this external camera. If you wanted to take a photo, you had to use the selfie camera on the inside and just flip it around and use this screen, and that's how you took photos. This was basically a prototype device. We've seen it emerge on some different like auction websites years and years uh, later, but that's something that we saw in this video and it was very, very cool. Today we have something really similar to that with the Galaxy Z Trifold. And this is coming from a LinkedIn post from someone who is a VP for Samsung Marketing. Now, unfortunately, this post has been pulled down because it was a mistake. They showed some images that they should not have shown, so they have pulled it down. But luckily, Sam Mobile has the scoop. They did save these images. And if we scroll down here, this is the image in question. And if you look very closely here at the cameras on the side, you can count them. One, two, three, and then look at that. It appears as though there is a fourth camera bump on the camera bar of the Galaxy Z Trifold. Now, what's interesting is that the last camera bump looks to be more shallow than the other ones. So I'm not exactly sure what that fourth camera would be, but my mind immediately goes to something like the S25 Ultra. As long as we have had Z Fold devices, there have been complaints that the camera setup on those Z Fold devices isn't up to par with the best cameras that Samsung offers, right? Now we're most of the way there, okay? So the Z Fold 7 and the S25 Ultra, they have basically the same primary camera, the same ultra wide, the same 3X telephoto, but the Ultra has an additional 5X telephoto. I'm quite skeptical that you could fit the 5X in this more shallow bump. Maybe they rearrange things and that's the 3X and the 5X is one of these. Hard to tell. If we could see a, a better image, maybe we could kind of see what was going on, look for a square opening on one of the camera bumps. But we can't really see that. But that's where my mind goes. Maybe this was a prototype of the Trifold where they said, hey, this device is going to be even more expensive than the Z Fold 7. So let's put the ultra cameras on it. But something happened along the way. Maybe they couldn't get the price down. Whatever. Something happened and they ended up removing that. And this actually, there, like, there's more evidence for that than just this image. Do you remember these series of tweets that I've shown you several times showing things about uh, the Galaxy Trifold in a leak from a One UI, unreleased One UI build? Well, in this image here, this little animation, what you see is zooming in all the way to 100x. That's been kind of confusing. Because now that the trifold has kind of been unveiled, we know that it only goes to 30x. We've seen that in the leaked manual, and of course it only has a 3x zoom. So, of course, of course it doesn't go to 100x. But maybe at one point it did. Just like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, maybe the trifold could do 100x. But they have decided to not give us that version of the device. Again, why? 
Who knows? My guess would be maybe they wanted to get that price down. I don't know how much money it costs to put that extra camera sensor in there, but if they're trying to get this thing down as low as they can or increase their profit margin as much as they can because they're going to sell low volumes, which is something you have to definitely contend with. If you're going to mass produce a product, you have what's it called economy of scale. You can lower your price, but if you're only going to sell 30 or 40,000 of something, Economy of scale not going to kick in. You're going to have to make a little bit more money on each device. So who knows why, but I think that might be what was going on. We almost got a trifold with the ultra cameras. This was the rest of the post, and it looks like something that the marketing VP would post. It's just a bunch of stuff talking about why the trifold is great. What's the point of the trifold? And then he did share several images of himself holding what I don't think he realized was a prototype device. And that's kind of crazy to me that you're the VP of marketing and you don't know that the trifold has three cameras instead of four and you post this online and then have to delete it. It just seems wild to me that you would not know what the device actually has, the version you're going to be releasing. But that is what it appears like happened. Personally, even though it's not the device that we ended up getting, I am at least pleased to see that Samsung is experimenting with something like that. And it appears as though this actually made it quite far along before they eventually decided against it. Is it possible that the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 8 could have a fourth camera, a 5X telephoto? This is all highly speculative. But as I do use my Z Fold 7 all the time, that 3X telephoto, it's fine. But when I compare it to something like the telephoto on this Oppo, Oppo, nope, this is the Honor Magic V5. You could say the Oppo Find N5 as well. It just does not hold up to these other devices. It's just not nearly as good. And that is something that Samsung, whether they upgrade the 3X, which seems less likely because it does appear as though they're going to be sticking with the same 3X with the 26 phones, or they add a 5X, something does need to be done. So who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we will get lucky in the Z Fold 8. I mean, really, what else can they do with the Z Fold 7? It's already super thin. It's already super light. The primary camera is a 200 megapixel. The ultra wide camera is absolutely fine. There's no problem there at all. Really, that 3X is kind of the last place where they really need to do something other than, of course, the size of the battery and the charging speed. But, I mean, really, that's kind of it. So maybe, like I said, maybe we'll get lucky and that will be what we get. But, guys, I do want to hear what you think in the comments down below. As always, how much more excited would you have been for the Trifold if it basically had the S25 Ultra's camera setup? I think for me that would have really kind of put this thing over the top because that's, again, like the big weak point for the Z Fold 7 for me is that extended zoom. As I test other phones that have better zoom capabilities, I do miss having those better zoom capabilities. I like going out in nature and taking photos of animals and so forth and so on, and I do miss that a little bit. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Link to the Sam Mobile article in the description down below so that you can go check that out for yourself. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.